Okay, to get an ebook or an audiobook from the public library, you're going to go up to your address bar and type in fcpl.org. And that's going to take you to the Frederick County Public Library's website. Up here where it says search, you're going to search the catalog. There are a lot of different things I could search. I could search dogs if I want to books on dogs. If there's a particular topic I know that I want. If there is just a genre I like. I like young adult science fiction. Or you could just type in science fiction. Lots of different ways you can search for a book. I know the title that I want. It's called Burning Brightly. So I'm going to type that in. I could hit enter or click on go. Right, and then it's gonna come up and it's gonna show me a couple different ways that I can get this. This is an ebook. Okay, and so I found the book that I wanted. It is an ebook format. If it was an audiobook, it would have a headphones and say audiobook, and so I would download that and that would download as an MP3. But I could uh, preview it, but I know that I want it, so I'm just gonna click on download, and you might say, I do not have a library card number or a password. Well, if you do not know of one that you have, this is what you need to do. All right, every student in FCPS has access to the Frederick County Public Library. For your library ID, it is 119829 and then your student ID number, the number that you use at lunch. And that is a eight digit number. Your password will always be student in all lowercase letters. Okay, so once I put my information in, it's gonna ask me what uh, format I want it in. I do not have the Adobe Digital Editions or the Kindle app to use, so I'm just gonna click on HTML and I'm gonna click Check Out. All right, and it's gonna open up the book. Now, the very first time that you will open it, it is going to actually open on the uh, title page, okay? I had this open before, so it opened to where I left off, which is great. So every time that you open it back up, it is just going to open to where you left off, so you don't have to worry about flipping through. And if you needed to jump around for any reason, you can click here and go to the titles. Okay, so you'll go to my account and you can click on checkouts, digital checkouts, and then click on download. And it's gonna open back up to where you left off. If you decide that you do not want the book or you wanna return it early so that somebody else can get it, you just need to select it click return item and then it will ask if you definitely want to return it and you need to click yes. You might find it a little annoying that you have to log in to the Frederick County Public Libraries and then download the book each time you want to read it. So another thing that you could do is simply on the FCPL homepage, click on download. And on download, you can, there's lots of different things. There's magazines, movies, audiobooks, but I'm going to click on ebooks. And on your phone, if you want, you can download these apps. There's a couple different ones Hoopla, Libby. And so you can download those apps for free. And then you could open up the app. And then you have to put in your library card number for username. It's going to be the 119829 plus your student ID number and there's no password. And then you can just read from your phone if you want, and all you have to do is open the app and you can get your book each time you wanna read it. If you still want to read from your Chromebook, but you don't wanna to have to worry about logging in the, the Frederick County Libraries, and like I said, going to the downloads, you can choose one of these. I'm gonna click on Cloud Library eBooks, And it's going to it show me new fiction, coming soon, new nonfiction, Teen Zone, Black Eyed Susans. So I can do a search. Let's see if they have the same book that I looked for the other way. All right. So it says log in. So to log in, 
you're going to type in your library card number. Okay, so you had to click login and then accept. And you'll see the book is available. There's a little book description. You can click on it for more. I'm going to hit borrow. And then I can click on read. And then it's going to load my chapters. I can do everything to read. All right. I'm going to do right now. Let's go back. And I'm going to click this little star here. And I'm going to call it Cloud Library. And it's going to be on my bookmarks bar. I'm going to hit done. And so it's going to make it a favorite for me. So I have a lot on my bookmarks bar. You probably don't. Like, so mine's going to be way down here. But hopefully you don't have anything and you can click on it there. And it's going to bring me back up to my book. So that way you can have it as a favorite on your tabs and you don't have to worry about following all those steps again. Okay? If you decide you don't like the book, you finished it early, just hit return, click return, and it should return it for you. All right, so that was Cloud Library. You can do the same thing. I can click on Hoopla. Okay, Hoopla, you have to. Uh, create an account. It's not difficult to do. Hoopla has a lot of different things too, including movies. Libby by Overdrive. Let's see, there's Harry Potter in a bunch of different languages. And lots of books. Magazines. And then Safari books. Okay, so there's a couple different ways that you can get books from the Frederick County Public Library. You can just search in their catalog. And remember, if you have the Kindle, you could just download it onto your Kindle. You could read it HTML, but that you had to go in and download it. Or you can try some of the ebooks or audio books that you can get when you go to download like the cloud library ebook scale virtual reference library hoopla okay and that is how you can get books through the frederick library